All right, so here is our first look at the new Viking hero. This is what we've all been waiting for. As expected, this is a very interesting looking hero, and it looks like she's got quite a few things that you'll either like or not like. As usual, I like to take my time and rewatch these segments a few times and put together a full stream recap. But since this time around, the YouTube stream is like broken for some reason and I can't rewind on Twitch, this season I'll post two showcase videos like this one that just show off the new stuff. I'll have my full thoughts video out in a few hours, but for now, I'll say that I like what I'm seeing for the most part. I really want to see what this hero can do along with other heroes, with all of the stamina draining attacks, unblockables, the guard break and undodgeables, plus this 50 damage hammer slam on knockdown. But for now, I'll stop talking and just play the showcase. Be sure to come back later for my recap video. Uh, the male counterpart here, Greatar, that is going to be the opponent. Of course, an emote. Let's get right into it. Perfect. So, uh, fight kit, let's start with the basics. Uh, it's two hit chains with these characters. Uh, light, 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 heavy, heavy, light, heavy, heavy. Any combo you want, any any order you want. Uh, you'll see that each of these has a, a bit of a property to it. The heavies here have uh, uninterruptible stance, sometimes aka hyper armor, sometimes aka super armor, sometimes aka special for honor armor. Well, thank you for listing all of those. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, on the opener, and the unblockable is finisher. Uh, sorry, is the finisher is unblockable. Yes. Here we're seeing the lights. These are enhanced lights. You see that they are not stopped on block. Okay. Uh, the Yorman can continue her chain uh, even when blocked. So I guess this is the, the, the pressure that you want to be sustaining through that. That's the goal right there. Exactly. We also see that the light finisher is undodgeable, and we'll see why that's cool a little bit later on. Uh, yes, you will. But now we're starting to see uh, the Zealot or the uh, Yorman Gender throw a zone attack, which can also chain into the finishers. We will also see it from a variety of other uh, ways to get into the chain. We can do uh, dodge forward heavy there, which chains. It has uh, an interruptible stance as well. And that sprint attack into finishers as well. Nice. So whatever the, Zella, or the Jormungander can throw, yeah. uh, chains to finishers. Sweet. So maybe we should take a look at the moose set. So those of you watching right now, maybe you guys can get ready for a little screen grab so you guys can take a look at the whole picture of the moose set here. Uh, but can you literally describe a little bit more in detail what we see here right now? Okay, cool. So right now we've shown you uh, the most basic stuff, the bread and butter that the character wants to do that is not too different from everyone else. Uh, each one has its own special properties, which is cool. But now we're going to get to the really crazy stuff that you saw there. Sweet. So we've got... Uh, the ability to drain stamina, and we'll start to do that with each of the moves. So this is a Yotun Surge. It's uh, down X from neutral and drains big stamina. Okay. Also, it flows into the chain, so you can continue the pressure with your light or heavy finishers. Nice. Uh, we can also do it as a second hit in the chain. This is Yotun Farewell. Boom, also drains stamina. So, also super cool. We're going to do uh, Yotun's Grudge next, which is the parry uh, punish. Excellent parry there, Frank. Thank you. Nice work. Yes. Yeah. So excellent. X after. I wish I could do that. <laughs> after the parry, Practice. it drains stamina, and it flows as well into the chain. And then finally, we've got a guard break. Newton's gift. Sweet. Uh, so there, you're pressing the light attack button. You get a free melee, which flows into your free light uh, finisher. Um, or you could have also done uh, light for the melee attack, followed by throw. Awesome. And so in terms of, right now we're, we're looking at specifically uh, what uh, the Jormungandr can do in a dual situation. Uh, but do you guys see uh, the Jormungandr playing a specific role on the team? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there's a couple things the Jormungandr can do here. Uh, as a heavy class, we'll see uh, between the opening heavy having uh, the uninterruptible stance, and the feats later on, we'll see, uh, give a lot of survivability mm -hmm. to the character. We think the Jormungandr is going to want to be the home point defender, 
as well as rotating to the lane and helping out in the group fights there. Sweet, sweet. Uh, so do you, do you guys want to go right into the feats then? We'll show let's, the... we've, let's, we got a few more cool stuff to show. Oh, there we go. Practice. Okay, yes. perfect. You're not finished. No, Excellent. Yes. We've given you the anticipation part, but now it's time to pay it off. Okay, so now the opponent is completely out of stamina, and this is where you think this is the, the, the bread and butter of the character. This correct? is where the Jormungandr is happy. Okay. He's done a bunch of work, put him out of stamina, and now all of the stamina drain moves cause unbalance. Okay. Why is that cool? What if we could do something that caused damage after that? Yes. Ah, I see. And now this is where the similarities might come in with the Centurion, I believe, right? Exactly. It's, a, it's put him to the floor, get your big damage punish, uh, and be a very happy character. Nice. So here we can see it. We're going from each of the, uh, the options, so the throw into Hammer Slam. Uh, we can do throw X into Hammer or sorry, X into Hammer Slam. That was down X into Heavy, into Hammer Slam, sorry. That does it there. I'll do the parry. Uh, it would have put him down anyway, but uh, as you saw there, but we could also do X. Which is super cool if the opponent drains, or your parry drains the stamina to zero, the X after will put them to the floor. Ah, okay. Which is super cool. So it's when the, when the stamina bar is at a low point there, that's where you can capitalize on that specific move. Exactly. Nice. So hammer slam, hammer slam, hammer slam. Uh, we can do Heavy Finisher. Let's do that one. Also causes unbalance when the opponent's out of stamina. Also brings you to Hammer Slam. Anything we're missing? Uh, one more, I think. Let's do it. All right. Heavy the bush. So winning. Into the winning. Hammer yeah. Slam. Always. No matter what you do, Hammer Slam. Nice. That's the goal. Nice. So Hammer Slam is the go-to move here for the Orman Gunner. Exactly. Awesome. All day, Hammer Slam. Uh, Hammer slam all day. I yes. like that motto. All right, so let's move into the feats, I guess, because this, again, uh, we were looking at the moveset maybe more in a 1v1 situation or, you know, 2v2, whatever it is, but more in terms of the team-based game modes, Dominion and all that good stuff, like Breach. Um, what do the feats accomplish uh, for this hero? So there's two kind of overall things that the feats are trying to do. First is help give the survivability to this heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see that with feat number one and feat number two. And then feat number three uh, want to help give options to go to the hammer slam, basically. Okay, sweet. And so let's start off, I guess, with feet one. What can you tell us about feet one? I think we have a clip of this. We should, yes. There we go. So this is Yotun Sal. We see on every one of the stamina during the move, so down X there, uh, parry X. Each of these is healing the Yorgamander on every uh, stamina during the move. So she wants to do the stamina during this anyway. That's her kind of game plan. Mm -hmm. And now she's being rewarded with HP for free on every one of these things. Nice. And now feet two. What does that do? Uh, further helps her survivability. Okay, she's done all this stuff. She's put the guy out of stamina. She's got healed on the down X. Hammer slam. Uh, temporary shield bonus. Okay. As you see there, when the hammer slam is pulled off. Okay, so it needs to happen. It needs to be a, a hammer slam. Exactly. So here it is coming. Boom. So, you, so as a player, if I see somebody starting to get out of stamina, this is where I would try to activate that feat too if I have it. And then after that, we can capitalize and get that extra shield. It is a passive. So even better. Oh. So Jormungandr is getting rewarded all the time uh, by putting the opponent lower and lower in stamina, eventually getting the hammer uh, slam big damage. Okay. But she's also like making a bigger swing in okay. things with healing and then eventually a shield. Okay, sweet, sweet. All right, well, what can you tell us about feat three then? So feet three, what if it were easier to actually pull off the hammer slam? Uh, feet three is a zealot bolt. Uh, and you see here, puts the opponent out of stamina uh, instantly. Okay. okay. Uh, projectile. Hard to react to, of course, because it's pretty pretty quick. You're going to eat that quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, obviously, she's going to want to try to get to a, a melee move and try to knock you to the ground. And then again, the hammer slam. Correct. Of course, the hammer slam. The hammer slam. Okay, well, of course, feet four, which is like the best for last. Feet four, Twilight of the Gods. Twilight of the Gods. Yes. That sounds menacing. AoE okay. knocks down everybody nearby, uh, gets uninterruptible stands during it. So right here, Boom, wrecks them both, gets a hammer slam, gets her shield. Uh, nice. As a tier two feet, so, so all complements each other. Everything makes all, sense. There's synergy, right? Yeah. Like her fight kit and her feet kit build her towards her game plan all the time. Yeah, and so uh, I, I see the similarity in the feet four, which is kind of like the um, the Hitakiri, uh, but it's a bit different because it's on one opponent where she does that crazy backflip. Uh, you know, ham well, it's not a hammer, but it's the Masakari 
slam, I want to call it. Um, and, but here is on a specific hero, but this one here is for the AOE, as you mentioned. So all of the heroes within her radius. Exactly. I mean, like, if she can pull it off in a group fight, she's going to be happy because she's going to get her hammer slam off. But yeah. also her friends are going to be happy because they're going to murder everyone who's on the ground. Too. Of course. Of course. Well, that's awesome. Do you guys have anything uh, else to say about the Jormungandr before we move on? I think Get Hype is a pretty good one, right? Frank, ha- hammer that. Time, what, August 1st? 1st, August oh, yes. 1st, that is correct. So Hammer Time, you heard it here from Stefan. And Frank, we'll see you guys again, Thank of you. course, for uh, balancing and improvements later on in the show.